All right, guys, so here's my new power supply. As you can tell, it's on a pretty thin shelf. Um, this is a two by six, so it's five and a half inches wide. The base of this thing from corner to corner, not including the heat sinks on the side, is 12 inches. Um, so it's not the most stable platform. That's why I'm building this to mount here. So what I'm gonna do is just remove this. This is an Astron RS50A. Uh, I have already turned it off. I've already unplugged it. And I am going to uh, undo my wiring from the back, from the terminal post. And then I'm gonna get it to the floor so I can take this shelf off. And then once I get this shelf off, I'm gonna mount these two shelves and then put these two corbels on. All right, just wanted to give you an update. All right, guys, this is the second part of my build for my new power supply. So these are the two pieces that I cut, uh, 12 inches long, it's uh, two by 12 dimensional so it's actually you know one and a half thick i'm sorry two by eight but it's so it's one and a half thick by seven and a half wide my shelf it needs to be 15 inches by 12 inches so that's what i've done um, and i've made these little triangle pieces that i'm going to mount on the bottom like this that will go underneath of it to add support for that 50, 50 daggone 50 amp power supply. Um, and that way it'll kind of give it a little more rigidity on the side to side rocking. Uh, I'll show you more once we get inside to my shack and show you what I got going on in there. Uh, but that's the plan. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I need to drill a couple pilot holes into these so that I can screw in. Um, I'm just gonna screw vertically once I get it in there, but I do want to set everything up that way I can drill into the side. I told you I'm not, don't, don't do what I do. I tried to make myself part of it. Not advisable. It hurts. That red dot's my blood. Hey, all in all, I'd say it's working out pretty daggone well. I'll be honest. For not having a clue what I was doing and just kind of thinking about it a little bit, I'll take it. Maybe not that one. Oh, no, no. 
else for my talking screw dispenser. Blah, 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 blah. honest I'm pretty shocked it looks like it's gonna work out uh, let's head to let's head in, inside to the shack and uh, we'll see what we get yeah this is Justin Blackbeard's radio KQ4 CIA I'll talk to y'all later all right guys there it is finished product got my support corners she's on there a lot more stable Follow along while I powered up for the first time Start with the Wuxian 9800, a uh, Chinese clone of the something. Hey, that's me. Yeah, we're doing good. External tuner, auto tuners off, and power on of the FTDX10. Boom. I've been running FT8. Let's switch over to... Let's see what we get. Let's have somebody doing a poda. We'll try and grab him once he calls QRZ just to make sure everything works. Kilo, Quebec 4, Charlie, India, Alpha. Wow, I got a whole bunch there that time. So if you've been on standby, I do want to work with you, buddy. Um, I'm going to take, I didn't hear a partial. Um, station ending in Lima. Lima, come down. Roger, Kilo 4, Juliet, Echo, Lima. Kilo 4, Juliet, Echo, Lima. Wow, I must be talking about you guys are booming in here. I have you a 5-9, a 5-9 at QSO. And I'm here in White Alpha, QSO. QSO, thanks for the 5-9. You're also 5-9 North Carolina. Thank you for your activation. 73. All right, 73, thanks for the 5-9 in North Carolina. All right, I got a whole bunch of people that are uh, I didn't get the, the call, so if you could, I uh, would start over, and we'll try this again, and we want to work everybody, that's for sure. So, great. You want that? This is number one. Number Kilo, Quebec 4, Charlie, India, Alpha. Don't take that call. Don't take that call? <laughs> This is Kilo Quebec 4, Charlie India Alpha. I've got you 5 and 9 in southeastern North Carolina. Oh, 
QSL, the 5 9 and 24 30. Uh, and uh, JEL just happens to be one of my friends. Thanks, Jeff. I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks for the activation. And thanks for the hunt. Well, I think that confirms it works. Uh, I don't know if you heard that uh, Kilo 4 Juliet Echo Lima station, but uh, that's one of my buddies. Um, he's the president of my local ham club. Uh, his name's Jeff. Uh, he beat me to that poda on the pileup. Um, so, you know, luck of the draw, but he was just joshing with me a little bit or justin in with me. I <laughs> get it, I'm Justin. Uh, either way, sorry. Horrible dad joke. Uh, this is KQ4 CIA Justin with Blackbeard's Radio. I hope you found all this somewhat entertaining or whatever. Uh, I, I kind of piecemealed together a couple videos, I guess. But uh, either way, it's all around ham radios. Hope you have a great day. 73.